Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Nabuzi Chijuki here, and welcome to Basketball from Another Perspective. Hope you guys are doing all right and you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be trying to answer the question, if Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard come over to the Los Angeles Clippers, do you think the Clippers will get the championship they have been looking for all these years? That's coming up after the intro, but before that, if you are new to this channel, I'm sure to hit that subscribe button, Kevin Durant style, shaking his shoulders before he hits the free throw, and be sure to smash that notification bell and never, ever miss an upload. And with all that being said, I got my iced tea right here. Make sure you go get yours. Stay strapped with an iron seat belt. And of course, I will see you after the intro. Let's go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So we all know that this offseason is going to be very interesting because we have a lot of awesome players on the market. We have KD, we have Anthony Davis, who is not a free agent, but I guess the Pelicans are going to want to trade him, except if something just changes in the offseason or by that time. And of course, we have Kawhi Leonard, we have Klay Thompson, we have DeMarcus Cousins. Not sure DeMarcus Cousins is going to be a free agent next year, but the, Los, uh, the Golden State Warriors rather did say that they were gonna let him go because they don't know if they have enough money to pay him next year but of course they said that they would try and win him a championship this year so let's see how it all unfolds by the offseason but one of the teams that has cleared up enough cap space to get two or three uh big players is the los angeles clippers i guess the knicks did that also but i want to talk about the clippers today so the question we're going to be trying to answer is if KD and Kawhi Leonard hook up at the Los Angeles Clippers, can these two guys capture the first championship for the Los Angeles Clippers? So we're going to get into that now, but first of all, we're going to go through a few parameters. And the first one is going to be uh, what these guys bring to the table and, of course, their experience. So let's get straight into that. Starting with Kevin Durant, of course, we already know what Kevin Durant brings to the table. He's an absolute offensive monster one of the top five shooters in the game i have him top three i think the only two guys who can shoot better than kevin durant are stephen curry and clay thompson and you know we can split hairs in that in the comments section but offensively we already know what kevin durant brings to the table jump shot check drive through the lane to get to the basket check you know dunks and all that stuff free throws out of this world kevin durant we already know what he brings to the table offensively but defensively, let's not forget that Kevin Durant is a pretty good defender. He's no slouch at all. But I don't know about him uh, uh, making claims that he should be in the top five uh, best defenders in the league. I don't know about that. I don't think he's there for me yet for being in the concentration for the defensive player of the year. You know, I, I don't know if he's there yet, but you know, Kevin Durant is a pretty good defender. He's no slouch. And of course, if it's Kawhi Leonard we're talking about, we already know that Kawhi Leonard is an amazing player also. I think probably the best defender we have in the game right now. And if he didn't sit out last year, I think he would have had three defensive player of the year awards under his belt. You know, he sat out last year, he already has two. He's a two time defensive player of the year. And offensively, he's also pretty good. So if you balance it out, he's probably the best two way player in the game right now. Okay, so these two guys, we already know what they bring to the table. Most guys, anyone who's watching this video, most likely already knows what these guys bring to the table. And also their experience, these guys have three NBA championships between them, okay? And also three finals MVPs between them. These guys have won it all. They know what it takes to win a championship. They've lost, they've won, they have the experience. So that would be great for this uh, Clippers team. And I think that these guys would just fit in uh, pretty seamlessly. So let's talk about the chemistry, who's gonna be number one, who's gonna be number two and how it's all going to fit and if there's going to be any disputes between these two guys. So that's what we're getting to now. Speaking of chemistry, the only issue I would have, if at all, would be Kawhi Leonard. Because last season, he just decided that he wanted to leave the San Antonio Spurs and nobody really knows the real reason why. So I don't want to go into all the rumors that were there. Of course, there were a few out there, whether it was his agent, his uncle that uh, influenced him or he, he didn't have enough control or he didn't like the way he handled his health uh, when he got injured. 
or whatever the case may be, I do not know about that. I don't like going into too many rumors and things of that nature. But personally, I'm a little bit concerned about his very vague attitude uh, while leaving the uh, San Antonio Spurs, which is, in my opinion, a very awesome organization. They don't have any issues. They handle the players well. This would have to be the first time I'm hearing a player complaining that the Spurs didn't treat him well, or maybe he wants to leave the Spurs because the Spurs are all about your quiet game, you know, just playing a system. They're not really box office like maybe the Lakers or the Clippers, or the Knicks, or whatever the case may be. Maybe that's why he left. So if that's the case, maybe coming over to the Clippers, he might have uh, some issues with KD or whatever the case may be. But I do not really think so because Kawhi Leonard uh, is a guy that has already been, he was brought up playing in the system in the Spurs. So I don't think he will have any issue with that. And Kevin Durant, on the other hand, has already proven in the Golden State Warriors that he can bend the knee and he can really sacrifice, sacrifice for his teammates. And I know guys will be like, what about the two finals MVPs? The two finals MVPs, in my opinion, he has it right now because Stephen Curry has not showed up in the NBA finals. At least if uh, Stephen Curry showed up, especially last year, uh, I think he would have gotten uh, the finals MVP and KD would have at most one. So KD is not the kind of guy that will go out and say, you know what, I want to get the finals MVP, I want to get regular season MVP and just uh, mess up the whole team chemistry. KD is not that kind of guy. So... Uh, I think these two guys would uh, bond pretty well and really uh, push this team uh, forward. And as for the role players they already have in the team right now, I would argue that these guys are pretty much chill players. And I know Lou Williams is doing his thing, but the fact that he's coming off the bench already shows that he's a chill guy. And these guys already, they want, uh, I'm sure these guys want uh, two guys who would come over and just help them win a championship, of course. So these guys already know they're role players. So... I don't, as far as chemistry goes, I don't think they have any problems there. So let's move on to the competition that they will face because that's an important factor to whether they'll win a championship or not. So as for the competition, the three teams in the West, of course, that would have any chance to take down uh, a, a serious uh, compile team with Kevin Durant and uh, Kawhi Leonard with other awesome role players would be the Los Angeles Lakers, the Golden State Warriors, and the Houston Rockets. So if you look into the Golden State Warriors, this is going to be very interesting because if KD leaves them, there's no doubt that they will be depleted. That's seriously depleted. And you're now going to have um, Stephen Curry either can sign Klay Thompson. I don't know. I think Klay Thompson, in my opinion, should leave the Golden State Warriors and do something for himself. But let's just say they keep Klay Thompson. And of course, if KD leaves, they're going to be looking into signing DeMarcus Cousins because they need uh, that extra guy to push them. I know you have Draymond Green and all those guys. So um, I think, in my opinion, that if the Golden State Warriors is led by Stephen Curry, they would not be able to take down Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard in the seven-game series. I'll give them maybe a 30% chance to take down, uh, I think, Kawhi Leonard and KD with all those other uh, role players would beat uh, the Golden State Warriors with Stephen Curry, uh, Clay Thompson, and DeMarcus Cousins, Draymond Green, and all those boys. I think that the uh, KD would pretty much, and Kawhi Leonard would pretty much take them down. So if we're also talking about uh, the Lakers, we have to put them in the mix. That would depend on if the Lakers can land a serious free agent next year. So we can't put KD and Kawhi in the mix. So these guys are out of it. Because already, uh, these guys are in the Clippers. Assuming they're already in the Clippers, you don't have, you can't get those guys. So your only option uh, to land a superstar next year will be either Kyrie Irving or Anthony Davis. I don't think they will be able to get Kyrie Irving and Anthony Davis at the same time. So let's just say they somehow get AD. Let's say they somehow get AD. I do not think that they can take down the Clippers as uh, that's if Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant comes over. So, uh, even if they get Kyrie and they have Kyrie and LeBron, I don't think that's still enough to take those guys down. I think the new beast of the West would have to be the Clippers if they can land Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant. So of course, that's wishful thinking, but I guess that if they do that, that would be the new beast in the West. 
And of course, when you talk about the Houston Rockets, we have James Harden, you know, going crazy right now. I would have to say that I had to see him in the playoffs this year before I can make any assumptions that they're even in the mix. So I have one foot in and one foot out as far as the Houston Rockets goes. So, and also Chris Paul's health is very questionable. So let's just watch how these two guys, how the Houston Rockets make their run in the playoffs this year before we can even talk about putting them in the mix. The reason why I'm putting the Lakers in the mix because I believe that they will get AD or someone next year. But if we're talking about having Kawhi Leonard and KD over at the Clippers, that makes it very dicey because you now have two uh, very improbable players that you might not land uh, in the offseason, you have Kyrie and you have AD, and I don't think you're landing any of those two guys next season because if uh, the Pelicans were going to give you AD, giving him to you this year, and if they were going to give you Kyrie Irving, I think he's going to be a free agent in the offseason. So let's see how it goes. But I don't think Kyrie Irving wants to go back and play with LeBron James, but you never know what's on Kyrie Irving's mind. So let's see how that goes. So as far as competition goes, I think that they can eclipse, pretty much eclipse any team that they face in the West. And as far as the East goes, that depends on what the Celtics are doing. Because if the Toronto Raptors loses um, Kawhi Leonard, there's no way uh, they're making any run in the playoffs or even not talk of making it to the NBA Finals. Then the Celtics, if they can keep Kyrie Irving and all these guys as it presently is, or maybe they can get AD to join in, then that's a serious team that can stop uh, the Los Angeles Clippers if KD and Kawhi is there. Then, if the Sixers, I don't think the Sixers will be ready by next year, but we never know. And the Milwaukee Bucks, I do not think so. So, pretty much, I give uh, these guys have very high probability of uh, winning an NBA championship next year. So, Let's uh, get into their bench, which is going to be a very important factor to them winning a championship next season. Okay, so as far as the bench goes, some of the guys who are starters right now are going to become bench players. So Danilo Gallinari and Garrett Temple are going to have to leave the starting lineup. And KD and Kawhi Leonard are going to have to take their places. So I guess KD will play power forward and uh, Kawhi Leonard will play small forward. So if you think about the fact that you have Danilo Gallinari, you have Lou Williams, and you have Gary Temple on the bench, that is pretty good. This will be one of the best benches in the NBA next season if they can get uh, Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard somehow, okay? So you have Patrick Beverly. If they keep him next season at shooting guard, you have at point guard Alexandra. Then you have Kevin Durant at power forward. And at small forward, you have... Kawhi Leonard and you have Zubak at center if the squad stays as it is and they just put in two players which are Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard next season this team is going to be awesome because this team right now is at the eighth seed okay they're at the eighth seed right now so imagine if you put in these two guys next season I think these guys probably will make the playoffs they have a pretty decent chance to make the playoffs as maybe the seventh or eighth seed so if they can make the playoffs as as it is right now just imagine if you put in Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant it's gonna be crazy okay so um Jerry West's the Los Angeles Clippers organization I have just given you the cheat code to get a championship next season this one's for free all right so all you have to do is go out there <laughs> do whatever you can pull off a heist magic call Doctor Strange whatever the case may be Go and get Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard next season. And you have to trade all the guys you have. Oh, don't. These are going to be free agents next season. So do whatever you can and get Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard over next season. And I guarantee you that you have a probability. Of course, we're going to talk about probability now. I give these guys a 75% chance to win an NBA championship next season. A whooping 75% chance. So Jerry West, go out there, pull off a heist, do whatever you can get Kawhi Leonard, get Kevin Durant, and I guarantee you, you have a 75% chance to win an NBA championship next season. So with all that being said, we have made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this far. 
and I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. And of course, you know, if you have any reservations or there's anything I might have missed, you can always leave it in the comments section. And of course, you know that I'll read every single one of them. I guarantee that. And also, we can all learn from each other. Very, very important stuff. And of course, if you are new to the channel, I'm sure to hit that subscribe button. Kevin Durant style, shaking his shoulders before he hits a free throw. And of course, smash that notification bell with the force of Kawhi Leonard's huge hands. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share. That always helps out the channel. Also, check out the other contents we have on this channel. Lots of fun stuff. And trust me when I say this, I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Peace out.